Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. Today is a sunny day. Uh, it's so good because after a few days of clouds, we finally see the sun again. Today I'm going to visit the Bada Art Fair. If you ask me what is the Bada Art Fair, I will tell you I have no idea. A few days ago, a YouTube viewer, an artist, called me up and said, I'm going to Bada Art Fair. Are you coming? I'm like, what? What art fair? I have no idea. I have never heard of it. So I googled and I found that this art fair is made for individual artists only, not made for galleries. So it's going to be the first art fair like this I'm going to visit ever. So let's go and find out. It's so sunny today. I'm so happy. First, I'm going to meet my friend for a coffee, then grab a cab to go there together. <sighs> We're in the countryside house again, the same location, or more or less the same location as the print fair. And this is the Galle de Arroz, a beautiful flower. Let me try to have a closer look. Nice. Okay. Bada. We're almost there. So um, they didn't have enough time to give us a proper accreditation. So I just have to explain to the lady and she let us in. First impression, let's see. The Feria de Arte Directo de Artista. We are here at the first edition Bada Madrid. It is held in a beautiful venue with professional lighting and plenty of space. Over 90 artists from around the world are showing their art here. Many are from Latin America. And you might ask, why Latin America? This is because the founder of Bada Madrid is from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Bada stands for Buenos Aires Directo de Artista. It existed for many years in Buenos Aires. Also, Bada Mojico has been running for a few years as well. The brand Bada is better known in Latin than in Europe. As a result, it attracted many Latin artists. But of course, there are also many European artists participating in this fair. On its website, it's written free application. It is free to apply, but not free to show your art. My friend got us some information. He applied with a selection of artwork mm -hmm. and he paid, he was accepted and he paid 2,500 euros for the booth and he's sharing it with a friend, friend artist, so they can share the costs. So it's not our, so expensive, right? It's not so expensive, but it depends who is paying, right? And I said, <laughs> do you think you're going to sell any artwork to pay for it? You know, because I'm the accounting, <laughs> the, my accounting self. <laughs> That's the <honestly>. ROI. Return on it, so it's like... How can you pay back for this? How can you get your money, but like investments, right? Fleur got word. I'm not sure if I pronounced the name correctly, but here you go. <laughs> Joe, you like it? I love it because it looks it looks so like complicated when you stand up from far, <laughs> but you go up and see it's like styrofoam like foams and like how it's actually being stacked up is so interesting. Yeah, so it's made of forms, not paper, but really, literally from far, it looks like paper art. I don't know if I can show you on camera. My name is Maria Laura Pini. I'm an Argentinian artist. Here I'm, I'm in Bada. It's a direct artist to client. So we are not in a gallery. We are the artist talks with the people. What we do is try to bring pieces of art that are maybe are cheaper, and that's why we big small pieces just to make it more accessible or more fun. fun because artists tend to work a lot by ourselves so whenever we have a chance to tell other people what's going on we we talk with people and see what happens when and hear and feel what's going on with your with your pieces no it's like we get a lot of info and it's an opportunity to see and realize what's going on, what you're doing, no? To show it. <laughs> My art, this is a, I'm working with Maria. The concept is Si Quiero, that it's in English, it would be, yes, I do. What is it I want to get married with? We want to get married with ourselves. All our pieces are related to womanhood and to get rid of all those things that you don't want to do them anymore that you're maybe attached to 
what you have to do. I want to do what I want to do now. Sorry about my English because I'm kind of inventing. I get pretty nervous. <laughs> this booth is probably the smallest booth. Well, well, well. Um, previously, I said the other booth was the smallest, but no, this is the smallest booth. It's like two meters wide and a meter fifty deep. The Montana booth or the sponsor's corner. Oh, it's cute. sculpture and painting. I think he's from Spain because uh, it would be very complicated to carry all of these works. Where are you from? I'm from Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, I guessed you're from around here. Yes. Because otherwise it's difficult to bring that piece. Well, it took uh, me a while and it's expensive. It's an effort. It's not that easy. And why you come here to Vada? I come here because I like to share my work with uh, other people and here it's an opportunity to show the people what I've been working at uh, recently. I'm a sculptor, uh, basically I work marble, wood and resins as you can see, but I also paint. This is Rahai, the artist who told me about this Bada art fair. Hello guys! Just now I was talking to him and uh, we had the discussion over whether an artist should also be an excellent technician. Because we had this discussion of some, uh, let's say, conceptual artist who doesn't do their own work and he emphasized the fact that he's doing his own work, everything. Marble, ceramic, mm. painting, and he's proud that he said that's a real artist should do every single step on your own. Would you agree? I, I don't necessarily share that. I think that at the end of the day what matters is the value added that you have as an artist on the things. For example, I'm ashamed to say it, but I don't know how to stretch my own canvas. And I'm fine to say I, I take my canvas to be stretched or if I need something to be done under my artworks, as long as at the end what attracts the attention is my artworks, I don't think it's a problem for me to to do the other part somewhere else. Yeah, but I would say stretching the canvas is more like uh, not a part of the artistic creation, right? I mean, the brush, you don't have to make your own brush. That's clear, right? I, so exactly. you're not expected to stretch I, your own canvas, I, right? So, I, but you I, paint everything yourself, right? You don't ask for help for painting. I don't. No, exactly, no. but some artists might, right? Okay. Especially big studios, famous contemporary artists. Ah, okay. They have a team of artists that who work under yeah. his wing. So, you know, it was an interesting discussion. So oh, yeah. it's, I, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for telling me about Bada. Thanks a lot. Thanks <laughs> a lot for coming and uh, being here with us. And those ones are close to the exit. So they're like super tiny. Look at this. But they're interesting though. As you can see, size doesn't matter. You can still squeeze in a lot of creativity. This is not a stand. It is a lay down. It's super cute. Looks really cozy. Bringing art from another side of the world is not easy and not cheap. But this artist has the perfect solution. Martin is the artist. Ah, I see. This is natural uh, fabrics. This is cotton and it's tied with natural pigments. And these are dresses made with that uh, paint. Martin worked on the paint and then a designer made the dresses. It's a limited collection, yeah. Uh, how many copies? There's no copy, there's only one. This canvas are the paintings without the frame. So you can frame it in your house with the frame that you want. Wow, it's aluminum, not That's wood. Aluminum. So it's very, very, very strong. Okay, so you bring the aluminum from Argentina yeah. and then you just uh, mount it here. So it's very easy to transport. Yes, of course. Very smart. Thank you. <laughs> So they told me another reason to use aluminum is because that when you cross borders, you don't have problems with uh, the customs, the wood, and you know sometimes you can bring like diseases uh, of a natural disaster. But aluminum, it's permitted, so it's a very smart way. You know, I think they're the best in logistics. <laughs> Hola. Hola. 
Z y Yanti. Oh my goodness, that's my language. Yes. It's funny that he has a Chinese <laughs> in this in his portfolio. That's unexpected. So he told me uh, he has his portfolio with Chinese translations because he wanted to go to China. The artist told me that there is an augmented reality of his work, so he's showing me. Uh, let's see, how does it work? Oh my goodness, okay, it is working. It is working. So cute. Oh, so goofy. Wow. It's kind of late. I have a conference to attend in less than an hour and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm thinking about eating something. But there's still a lot of really cool works I haven't seen yet and still a lot of artists I haven't talked to. Hola! Oi. This stand is interesting because the works here, you see the figurative and abstract, are made by different artists, those two. And um, they're not a couple, they say. Well, let's find out. ¿Cómo te llama? Javier. ¿Y tú? Patricia. Do you make the same art? Yes. And uh, you're not a couple? No. I don't believe you. We are just an artist couple. Probably this is the reason because we are working together without problems. This work is my friend's favorite work. So these are originals or prints? Originals. Ah, oh, cool. They just had the first sale of the day, so they are very happy and they're like taking pictures. My friend wanted to buy some works, but she encountered a small problem. Most of the artists here don't have a post machine. If you don't have cash, then you cannot buy art. Well, it's not possible for the art fair organizer to charge on behalf of the artists either because it would be a huge taxation problem later on. I hope next year for the next edition Bada Art Fair, the event organizer will find a point of sale system company as a sponsor so that they can facilitate uh, the transactions and the artists can sell much easier. I really wish I had more time today, but I am late for my conference, so I have to go. Um, this kind of art fair for artists is not exactly a new thing in the world, but it is new in Madrid. It's the first one like that, so I'm glad I came. Um, before finishing this video, I want to give a big shout out to our Patreon, and thank you very much for your support. See you in the next video.